everybody, welcome back. This is Tony Fuentes. Today I'm going to share with you how to save a tone patch using the Boss Eban JS10 or the Boss Eban JS8. They pretty much are identical in saving, so just go ahead and follow what I do and it should get you there. Uh, any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them below. And uh, thank you so much, and please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Alright, so really quick, I just picked a random tone patch. I'm going to tweak it, I'm going to save it. This patch is a custom tone patch I call Jazz 1972. Never mind the settings. I'm going to tweak something really fast and show you how you can edit it and make a new tone patch and rewrite over a patch. All right, so for this tone patch, obviously I have 412 milliseconds. I'm going to go ahead and change that to 414 milliseconds. Technically, I've already modified this original tone patch. So I'm now going to write over it. I'm going to hit menu and it says write. I'm going to go ahead and write. Now that's the next menu. We're going to save it and rename it. Since this tone patch was called Jazz 1972, let's say I want to call it Jazz 1975. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the right arrow button and that gets me into the parameters to change all the uh, the lettering. So there's a lowercase and there's a numbering and some characters. So we're going to change it to 1975. Let's go ahead and look for the capital J. See my arrow button? And then you move around to the next feature and so forth. You can move it there and so on and so forth. And then there's a space feature right there. You can go around the whole cycle if you wanted to. Go back there. So this, this was already 1972. I'm going to call it 1975. And there's 1975. See where it says enter right? I'm going to hit over here, enter right. And then you come back over here. And there's a tone patch now. It's now called Jazz 1975. Again, real quick, let's go into it. And we're going to put it back to 12. Remember, that's how it was originally. Go to menu. Hit the right. Enter. Hit your right arrow key to get inside where you want to change it. You can call it jazz. You can call it whatever you want to call it, whatever you want to name it. Uppercase, lowercase, capitals, numbers and characters is up to you. Then we're going to go ahead and put it back to 1972. Go ahead and hit enter. And there it is. And a quick feature, you want to back up your tone catcher because all the E-bands tones are saved on the SD card in the back. And what you do is you exit and then you come over here to your menu button and then you're going to go ahead and hit the system button. And then see where it says SD card patch backup? This is really good. So if you have a Boss Eban JS8 or JS10, you do have an SD card in the back. This is where all your patches are saved. Now, if I lost my tone patches, or if I lost my Eban, I'm screwed because I have no tone patches. So by saving it onto the SD card, you can put that SD card files onto your computer that have a backup. If someone steals your SD card, you misplace it, uh, whatnot, you have a backup on your computer. Also, uh, you can save you can put a brand new SD card in the back and create a hundred more custom tone patches. I happen to have two Boss Eban, so I have 200 custom tone patches. But if I wanted to, I could turn this one off and take put another SD card in the back of it and then those patches will be on it. So we're going to go ahead and enter. I need to back it up anyways. Back up my user patches. So I have 100 custom tone patches. I don't want to lose them, but I want to keep them up to date. See the bottom right? I'm going to hit backup. Are you sure? Yes. Now all my custom tones can exit. These are all my custom tone patches. See in the upper left it says U90. That means user 90. Now 100. So all these tone patches here are now backed up on my little SD card. I can then extract the SD card, put it on my computer, and save it. So if I should lose my EBAN, lose my SD card that's on the computer, I can just burn it back onto another SD card, slap it on the back of it, all these tone patches will be saved. These are just pretty much all my stuff I have on here as far as songs. I have special effects and drum loops and 
songs I jam to and so forth and work on my chops and as you all, you all know I love Jockin. Dockin. Jockin. <laughs> and so I just pretty much, you know, play with stuff and uh, that's pretty much it. Alright, so that's pretty much how you save a tone patch using the Boss e band JS10. Thanks for watching this video. Any questions and comments, again, go ahead and leave them below. Please share, like, and subscribe my video and my channel, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.